Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for December 12th of 2023, it is titled Aurora and Milky Way over Norway. So what do we see here? Well, let's go ahead and zoom in and label some of these things to take a better look at this. And we see a number of objects in the sky, including part of Earth, of course, in the foreground. And that is Norway and the Norwegian Sea off to the right hand side. And you can even see the person standing there or sitting there, I should say, uh, on the rocky outcrops around the Norwegian Sea. Now, we want to look at the things up in the sky here. So let's take a look and see what kind of things we see in the sky. Starting on the right hand side, we see the aurora and a very prominent aurora stretching in an arc across the sky in this panoramic view. Now the aurora uh, here we see glowing green in the lower levels and then red up above it is caused by our atmosphere being excited by particles from the sun. So when a solar storm occurs that sends out particles that strike Earth's atmosphere and are then funneled along towards the magnetic poles and that's where the magnetic field lines come into Earth's atmosphere. When they strike oxygen atoms up high in Earth's atmosphere they will then glow and depending on where they happen to hit you sometimes get this green glow lower down which is the very prominent aurora that we're used to seeing or higher up we can get a red glow from those same atoms. Now if you note the aurora is just a glow of the sky and we can see stars right through it. So it's not a cloud like clouds in the sky. It is just a glowing of the sky. And one of the things you see at the top of the aurora is the, the Big Dipper. The Big Dipper is an example of what we call an asterism. An asterism is a bright grouping of bright stars. Now we sometimes confuse that with a constellation. A constellation is a specific region of the sky. And there are 88 constellations to find around the sky. The Big Dipper is in part of one of those constellations, which is Ursa Major or the Great Bear. So it is not specifically a constellation itself, but it is a very prominent grouping that a lot of people are able to recognize. As we move toward the middle of the image, we see our Milky Way, and that is our galaxy as we see it from within. And you see that stretching from the middle of the image and then up and arcing over down to the left hand side. That is an example of what a spiral galaxy looks like from inside. And when you're looking at it kind of edge on seeing the disk of the galaxy. And here it's distorted simply because of the panoramic nature of this it would be in reality just a straight line. But of course when we see it on the celestial sphere it will always look curved. Now below that we see another galaxy. So the Milky Way isn't the only galaxy in this image. We do see the Andromeda galaxy and you can see the galaxy itself there right below the uh, second A in galaxy. And that is a galaxy of similar to our own Milky Way, but about two and a half million light years away. A little bit closer just below and to the left of that is the Pleiades star cluster, an open cluster of stars sometimes known as the seven sisters in the constellation of Taurus. And then finally, just to the left hand side of the image, we see even closer to us the planet Mars. And that is one of the closest planets to Earth, Mars and Venus being the two closest and Mars the red planet is one of the best studied objects in our solar system. So we get to see all of those things here in this view showing us things from as close as within our own atmosphere things like the Aurora to other galaxies like the Andromeda galaxy well over 2 million light years away. So that was our picture of the day for December 12th of 2023. It was titled Aurora and Milky Way over Norway. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.